Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back again today with the Z Flip 4. Yeah, I got a case on it. We're gonna talk about it. By the way, you guys like my cover screen? Yeah, okay. Now, before I begin, one thing I wanna say is that, look, this is not just a foldable phone. You're gonna get a ton of reviewers like me that are gonna hate on the Z Flip 4 like I am today. Today, we're gonna talk about all the five biggest problems I've had with this phone. We're gonna get into it. But don't get carried into the argument that this is not a flagship device. I was stuck to the Z Flip 3 all last year, and that truly kind of fell short but things have changed with the Z Flip 4. It's got a 120 Hertz display. It's water resistant. By the way, not dust resistant, just to be clear. It's got wireless charging. It's got reverse wireless charging. And new this year, it also has fast charging. It's got Dolby Atmos, and it's got a 6.7 inch screen, obviously when it's folded out, which is gorgeous. It's one of my favorite screens ever. It is an OLED panel. Yeah, it's not as sharp as something like the S22 Ultra, but the fact that we're even comparing it to the Ultra, ladies and Ladies and gentlemen, this is a flagship at this point, and I'm gonna treat it like a flagship. So let's get started with the biggest problems of the Z Flip 4, and the first problem, which is also the biggest problem, I'm actually gonna do that last. We'll start with problem number two, and that is the battery and standby time. Wait, wait, okay, okay, let me explain. The battery is awesome. The battery, like, like when I say awesome, for the first time ever, Samsung claimed that the battery would be eight hours, and I'm actually getting eight hours of screen on time. It did take a bit, you know, on my first 24 hour review, I'm sure it didn't hit eight hours and I definitely talked about it, but now I'm getting that consistently. So the battery is good. What's the problem? It's the standby time. For example, I'll be driving somewhere, okay? I'm always driving, all my examples talk about driving, but by the time I get to the destination, this thing may have started off at 70%, but just sitting there, it goes down to 60. Not all the time, but sometimes. Enough to where I gotta bring it up here. The standby time on this device is not stellar. You might just have it like left on the table. You might go do an errand, run out, do something like that. But it's most noticeable overnight. For example, we don't always have chargers available. You might go to sleep with this at 70%. You wake up, it's down to like 50. That's very, very possible now, depending on how long you sleep, obviously. But my point is that standby remains inconsistent. It's similar to how it was in the first or in the last gen, the Z Flip 3. And I don't see any noticeable improvements in the standby time, but or in the standby consistency. And that's kind of across all Samsung devices almost. I mean, I had that issue with the Ultra as well, where standby is just extremely inconsistent. And when you pit them against devices like the iPhone 13 Pro Max, I'm not here to, you know, beam on the uh, 13 Pro Max. I'm not here to do that. I'm here to talk about the Flip 4, but the 13 Pro Max has stellar standby time. It is super consistent. I can always expect and predict what the battery level is going to be. You can't really do that with the Z Flip 4. But we do have to give credit where credit is due. Samsung made the battery bigger while still keeping that ultra thin form factor, but also the fact that this processor is so much newer. I mean, again, we're going back to that flagship thing. This is a proper flagship. We're using the latest processors and they're evidently using that battery super efficiently. So, but, oh my God, I'm not here to talk about the things I like. That's a separate video. Let's go on with thing number two, the second biggest problem. Before we get into the second biggest problem, make sure to smash that subscribe button because it really helps grow the small channel like mine. And also don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video, smash the dislike if you dislike it, but let me know in the comment section below how I can improve. These kinds of videos always get the most hate. Again, like when I did with the Ultra, when I did with the iPhone, they always get so much hate. Listen, I'm not bashing on the phone. That's what I talked about in the beginning. This phone is phenomenal. I love it. It's my daily driver. I love the Flip 3, even though I had so many complaints. I just love this form factor. And that's the same thing here. So we're gonna continue talking about the problems, but just keep that in mind. I love this phone. And you might be able to tell. Also, if you're wondering where this case is from, it's from my sponsor of this video, Humix. Now they've sent me 
Oh God, Why a few cases. So, okay, these are not the cases from Humix. These are Samsung cases that I bought and I'm having a few problems with the original Samsung cases. First of all, these cases are the, these clear cases, fingerprint magnets, super sharp at the edges and they're yellowing already. I don't know if the camera is going to pick up, but that's the thing with these clear cases, they always end up getting yellow. This rubber case, obviously it's not gonna get yellow. It's super soft, which is something I do enjoy. I like my thing soft. But the problem with this case is that when it's fully opened, there's this strap that's sticking out of the bottom. And the problem is that when I hold my phone, when it's opened, I like to put my pinky on the bottom so I can kind of stabilize whatever I'm doing. This is a long phone, you wanna be able to stabilize it, so I put my pinky there. Because this strap leaks, I'm not able to get my pinky down there comfortably, and as much as I love the case and the feel and the look, it just doesn't do me justice. So, Humix reached out once again. They did this for me last year as well. They're doing it again for me this year and sent me a few cases, and I'm enjoying it on the daily. It's got the rugged look. It's got the premium you know, thin look, it keeps it all. It keeps the premium look of the phone, but it adds a lot more protection. You saw me drop this phone in the start, you saw it. They also make the uh, case for the Z Fold, so they sent me that as well. I don't have the Fold on me. And there's also a camera protector. So, got the camera bunks, put it on the cameras, protect your cameras. I don't want it, cause I just like my cameras kinda exposed, and gets the booty more clear that way. But it's up to you, it's what whatever you wanna do. But I've got Humix and this case linked down below, I definitely recommend it, I've been using it and I will continue to use it. Definitely check it out, link down below. But let's get on with problem number two. This next problem is something that you pick up. Some things that you just pick up as you start using this device and one of them, is the Bluetooth connectivity. When I first started using this device, I was in my car, I was walking around, I had you know earbuds in my ear, no problems at all. This, this was perfectly fine, not a glitch in the world. But it was only when I went outside, and specifically when I play basketball, sometimes I like to go hoop, and I take my phone with me, I grab my wireless earbuds in, I leave my phone at the net. So where the net hits the ground, I leave my phone there. And with other devices like the Ultra and the iPhones, I'm able to get all the way out to like the three point line and the Bluetooth connection doesn't break. So I'm still able to hear my music even at the three point line. However, with this phone, I can barely make it to the foul shot line before the connection breaks. Now, I'm using the same exact earbuds, so there's no change in the earbuds themselves, it's the Beats with Pros, but I just feel like the Bluetooth connection is a lot weaker on this phone. Maybe it's one of the drawbacks, it's one of those things that they had to cut back on to make this phone smaller, to increase the battery size, I don't know. But it's definitely something I noticed, and it does annoy me when I run out past that foul shot line, and all of a sudden I can't hear anything, it like glitches, and then it scratches out completely, I can't hear my music, and then when I get back into foul shot range, it comes back on again. So it is quite annoying. Number four, this might be an even bigger problem, honestly. Ah. This is this this one's kind of annoying. And this is kind of specific to Samsung. OnePlus and like other Android devices don't really have this issue. And what I'm talking about is file transfers. Now you see, a lot of people are having a similar kind of issue with Smart Switch, where transferring data from another phone to this phone isn't going as well as they liked. But that was not the case with me. When I traded in my S22 Plus and I transferred all the data from that over to this using Smart Switch, I had absolutely no problems. Obviously I had to log into like my Instagram account and my Twitter account again, but it loaded up my entire Gmail list and everything. So no problems with Smart Switch, but the problem is when I take pictures outside, when I take videos, sometimes I like to use my phone as B-roll. I like to take B-roll with my phone, I like to go out and get content for you guys, whether it's for Instagram, YouTube, Snap, chat, I don't have that. Anyways, the problem arises when I wanna transfer this video or this image over to my computer as fast as possible because that's where the editing is happening. The problem though is when I put the USB in and I plug it into my computer, usually, almost like all the time. Actually, I've never been able to transfer data from this phone to my computer. It's because the media transfer option doesn't show up. Now. 
I said this is a specific thing with Samsung devices because if I use that same cable and it has to do with the cable, if I use the same cable with my OnePlus 10 Pro, no problems. The me It shows up, uh, do you want to transfer media to your device? I click yes on my phone and I'm able to transfer files directly to my computer ASAP. So other Android devices don't have this issue. The Samsung S22 Ultra and the Plus, both of them required a very special kind of USB-C cable to actually have that option of media transfer now when I use that same cable but with this phone I still don't get that option so I'm literally I don't know how to physically transfer files over to my computer as fast as possible because the wire is the fastest way what I'm doing right now is uploading everything to Google Drive and that takes quite a while so I have to upload everything then I have to access it on my laptop or desktop and luckily like I have a Google Drive subscription so I've been paying for like the extra space and everything and that's why I'm able to kind of fit everything on my Google Drive but if you don't have you know one of those tiered plans then you might run out of space on your Google Drive really fast if you're using like these outside cloud methods but honestly that's the only thing I could think of because every single USB-C I try I just can't get that option to transfer my media files it's the dumbest thing on the planet but it's a real thing problem number five ladies and gentlemen say goodbye there is no more of that. Remember last year with the Z Flip 3, the hinge wasn't so tight, so you could like do the flossy carder. I call it, it's the flossy carder at that point. You could be flossy carder and flip your phone open because you had the balls to do that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this season, Z Flip 4, you cannot do that because the hinge is very tight. Now there's benefits, obviously, and drawbacks. This is water resistant, more water resistant than last year's, but Samsung does say this is still not dust resistant, so don't take it to the beach or anything like that. But the fact that the hinge is more tight obviously kind of makes it feel a lot more secure. There's no wiggle absolutely no wiggle last year there was a little bit of leeway there was a little bit of that wiggle wherever you kind of left your phone but this year it's obviously a much tighter device now we'll find out after a few months if it gets loose you know if it starts shaking around a little bit but for now it's remaining very very tight but the problem is that now if you want to open your device you're gonna have to use two hands you're gonna have to find your hand somewhere if your hand is busy you know you know you're gonna have to like innovate to get your content to get the phone open so it is a thing now closing it one hand is still perfectly fine so to open it you're gonna have to use two hands to close it you can still use one considerable difference because i did see like two people i know like seven or eight people that have the z flip 3 i only know two of them that in front of us they just flip the phone open so yeah that's the fifth problem the fact that you got to use two hands to open but let's go back to the biggest problem problem number one the problem that i skipped the problem i have with this device and with samsung in general i'm a samsung fanboy we've made that clear this channel should make that clear is that there is no significant upgrade over last year's generation to this year's gen now i started off by saying this is a flagship and it truly is latest processor 120 hertz we got the water resistance we got the dust not really resistance we got the oled display 6.7 inches and there's a lot to love which i'm saving for another video because i've got a list of things you're really going to enjoy hidden features all of that stuff but the form factor is exactly the same okay so they made the uh, bezels a little bit more chrome all right that's pretty nice okay the uh colors i really really don't like um i loved last year's matte black as you can see this is very very gray which i mean okay but like i really enjoyed the matte black not the gray the colors i'm just not really feeling this year at all but the other thing is that there's no significant difference or change on the cover screen there's so much potential still i believe in this cover screen you can do so much and there's apps and developers like cover os definitely check that out i reviewed that last year with the z flip 3 anyway so i'm not going to do that again but yeah there's a lot of stuff that you can do with third-party apps so there's a little bit of customization you can do with good lock as well to the cover screen but no primary you know samsung app and the other thing is 
it's still small. It's still a 2.2 inch screen. So they did increase the screen size just to be able to say we increased it by like 0.02 inches, I think. It doesn't do anything for you functionally. And I don't like that. And I think that's probably why we're not seeing the same hype that we did last year. Last year, this thing went crazy. The TikTokers, the influencers, everybody with a booty basically got this phone. But this year, with the Z Flip 4, the hype isn't there. The argument is, why fix something that's not broken? Okay, all right, I get it. Calm your tits, Play-Doh. The point is that if you want to generate the same hype, if you want to be able to beat the competition again, iPhone 13 Pro and all these other devices, which I want to see Samsung do, not that it benefits me in any way. In order to do that, you need to like change something, obviously. You want to come out with something a little bit newer. Most of the changes of this device were done on the inside. And that's fine. That's something that was desperately needed, especially with the battery. But I would have just liked, what, what would have I liked? What would have I liked to see? A bigger cover screen. That's all I'm asking for, Samsung. All I'm asking is that you double the size. And part of what disappoints me about this is that we saw a lot of renders. We saw a lot of copyright stuff from Samsung that was coming out with these designs of having a camera in the hinge. Like there was stuff going down. There was also the fact that we might get an under screen uh, front facing camera, kind of like the Fold has. None of that happened. Even the screen still has that disgusting be plastic bezel that goes all around and it has that screen protector that's still very, very visible. Those are just things that I wish Samsung would be able to get you know, over at this point. I don't wanna see a screen protector every time I look. I don't want this fat plastic bezel, which is important because if you ever put your phone straight down, that glass is extremely thin, it's gonna crack, okay? So, but, but just some sort of other implementation, I don't know. I'm not paid for that. I'm just here to tell you my advice. But by the way, what hasn't changed, this screen is still a dust magnet. Every little thing gets trapped on the screen. And part of the reason for that, let me see if I can show you guys. And there's that crease, but you crease, you don't notice. It's kind of similar to last year's, maybe exactly the same, but you really don't notice when you have your content running. And I didn't even notice on the Z Flip 3, so that's not something I'm gonna complain about. But this does carry, like it captures all the dust on the planet. Because of these bezels that are pumping out that are above the screen, they kind of trap all of the dust inside and closing it all up doesn't really help get that dust out. So it is still a dust magnet. But ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's all I don't like about this device, which should tell you that there's a lot to love from the speaker the way things are set up, the heating, the heat management, the performance. There's a lot, okay? And there's a lot that I didn't talk about because it's for another video. It's for the things that I love about this device and definitely make sure to be subscribed so you're tuned in to my latest updates. That was it, that's all from me. This was Chilled Fossil, you're watching Chilled Fossil. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. And by the way, merch below, I think, hopefully, by this point, please. Merch below, get yourself some merch. There's no Z Flip 4 covers, unfortunately, but I do have cases for the Samsungs, for the iPhones. We got the t-shirts. We got them gaming mouse pads, big and small. Got them. I got ear pod covers, we got them. We got a lot of stuff, so definitely check it out in the link below. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, peace.